This video was brought to you by Mr. Koya. Get a shirt, mate. Good gravy. I genuinely contemplated not making this video because watching Ready Player One is not so much an Easter egg hunt as it is being beaten to death by a tidal wave of unrelenting pop culture. Now I've called this video every Easter egg or a thousand Easter eggs or all the Easter eggs or some variation on that because I always do. Sure, that's dishonest. If you're surprised by that, welcome to your first day on the internet. Please take a look around and st probably stay away from 4chan. Anyways, I'm going to do as many as I can. And these are the categories that we'll be touching upon for Ready Player One. And there's time codes below if you want to skip ahead to anything. Any questions? I'm sorry, this is pre-recorded, I, I can't hear. Right, video games. Seeing as the Oasis is basically all the video games and also all of everything else, there are many video game references. People use video game avatars, play old video games, name video games that they like. It's cray. Right, Street Fighter characters are seen. Blanka, Chun-Li, Ryu, Saget. There's also a lot of DC Comics stuff, but there's specifically video game characters from the Arkham series, including the Arkham Knight and that game's version of Harley Quinn. We also see the Mortal Kombat logo along with Goro, Raiden, Cassie Cage, Katana, Scorpion, Sub-Zero, Johnny Cage, and Liu Kang who's seen being killed in the final battle. There's the Battletoads, Master Chief and some Spartans, Dante from Devil May Cry, Captain Commando, the Protoss, a Zealot, Jim Rayner, and a Sectoid from Starcraft, some of the Angry Birds, as well as the Angry Birds Slingshot, plus GoldenEye's mentioned as someone's favourite first-person shooter. My favourite first-person shooter, or at least modern first-person shooter, is Titanfall 2. The single-player campaign, it's not super long, Long, but it's great. It's very engaging. Why am I dragging this video out more than it needs to be? Let's just jog on. There's no time! Rain from Blood Rain and Lara Croft are seen in the final battle, as well as Tracer. Also from Overwatch is Mercy, Doomfist, Soldier 46, Widowmaker, me or my, Hanzo and Sombra, which are all things or people that appear in a game that I am 100% unfamiliar with. The chainsaw gun from Gears of War is seen. We also get Minecraft Man, who has another name probably. Kirby, Link, Zelda, and Ganondorf. They're in the final battle, along with a Big Daddy, Bayonetta, Mega Man, as well as Mario, Yoshi, and Bowser. Samus is seen in the nightclub scene, along with Waluigi, and Luigi is also present in a go-kart in that first car race. Some Persona characters show up, as does Gordon Freeman, Kratos, Nate Drake, a Donkey Kong poster is seen, there's Chris Redfield and Jill Valentine from Resident Evil, Kid Icarus, Little Mac from Punch-Out, Shulk from Xenoblade Chronicles, Nightmare Freddy from FNAF, Shovel Knight, Monkey Ball, Mike Hagar from Final Fight, Frank West from Zombie Murder Man in a Mall, Ivy from Soul Calibur, Spencer from Bionic Commando, Regina from Dino Crisis, The Wolf from Okami, which I actually played when it first came out. I thought I'd really enjoy that game, but honestly, it was a bit of a drag. To be fair though, great art style and there's some really interesting mechanics. There's no time for this! This person from Fatal Fury shows up, as does BD Joe in the race in his crazy taxi. There's a Borderlands shop in the mall. There's a few characters from Left Number 4 Dead. Liberty Prime is in the final battle, along with Sackboy, a Splatoon gun. Wheatley from Portal is buzzing about, as is Firebrand from Ghost and Goblins. Plus a stack of Atari games are either seen or played or mentioned, including Joust, and adventure. There's nods to both Pac-Man and Ms. Pac-Man. Did those two ever get married? Actually, yeah, I think they did. That's nice. Two career-driven, yellow, circular, non-stop eating monsters, trapped in a maze, making it work. There's no time for this! Qbert is out and about. Space Invaders is seen on James Halliday's t-shirt. We get Duke Nukem. Commander Shepard is in the club. And we get the Battleborn characters Al Dragon, Toby, Benedict, and Miko. Wow, this should be the end of the video. I feel like I've done a lot of things so far and I've gathered a bunch of images, so uh, no, it's not though, there's, there's so much more! Because the pop culture references in this film, they extend all the way to that of comics and books. Deep breath! There's a Metal X-Men lunchbox scene in the real world, a bunch of DC characters including Joker and Harley Quinn, I mentioned that already, but we get Doctor Fate, Poison Ivy, Killer Frost, all in that club, plus Superman and Robin are seen in that last battle. A Wonder Woman sticker is on Artemis' bike, there's a Batman 89 sticker, also somewhere, I can't remember where, but I did see it, and there's a whole bunch of other DC characters, including Blue Beetle, Green Lantern, Hawkman, Nightwing, Supergirl, and Firestorm. Wade Watts disguises himself as Clark Kent, and it's mentioned that he's named Wade Watts because his parents wanted to give him a superhero name like Bruce Banner or Peter Parker. Other Marvel characters that are in the background are Iron Man, Deadpool, Hulk, Spider-Man, Loki, Thanos, Black Widow, Hawkeye, Captain America, Wolverine, Doctor Doom, the Infinity Gauntlet, that's in the garage. 
We also get Magneto, Ultron, the Wasp, and the Black Order. I saw literally none of these, so please take that with a grain of salt. Because a lot of these are from the Ready Player One Wikipedia page. Hagar the Horrible rocks up, as well as Harry Potter, Katniss Everdeen, the Watchman Smiley, Gandalf and a Cave Troll, plus there's a poster of Will Wheaton, because like in the book Ready Player One, he's also apparently the president in this future. Television references also. So many! In the big race, we see the 1966 Batmobile, the A-Team van, the Speed Racer car, the Simpsons car, plus SpongeBob and Patrick in the paddy wagon. The Serenity ship is seen, that's from Firefly, and also the movie Serenity, as well as ships from Battlestar Galactica. Gundam plays a big role in the final battle, also. I'm sure you remember it. Principal Skinner and Super Nintendo Chalmers also show up, as does Brian Griffin. Soka or Soccer from The Last Airbender. I've never seen it. I know, I should. It's one of those things. It's on my list! Cosmo from The Fairy Odd Parents, and Alf is also running about the mall. We get Walter White, a sticker from The Greatest American Hero on Artemis' bike. Wade's DeLorean has the Knight Rider lights on the front, plus he's sporting a Thundercats belt. There's also Evangelion units seen in the final battle. Jon Snow and Daenerys Targaryen are in the Club. Piccolo is also in the Club. Goku is in the final battle. Negan is in the final battle. That Death Note monster is in the final battle. This video may be my final battle. Seriously, this might be the one that breaks me. I'm just listing things. Is this what I do? Is this my life? Super Grover is in the final battle. The 13th Doctor is in the final battle. The Powerpuff Girls are in the final battle. Bill Cipher is in the final battle. He-Man and She-Ra are in the final battle. The final battle is on Planet Doom, which is from Voltron. Something something! Final battle! Ah, all right, I can do this. I'm just gonna rally because making this video is better than sitting in an office at a job that I hate, across from a guy that I also hate, listening to a boss that I hate the most, spending my lunch hour sitting in the toilet cubicle because I'd rather stare at the inside of an off-white door than interact with any of the people that I work with in this hypothetical scenario. Okay, movies. This is the big one. Get ready. The Michael Bay Ninja Turtles are seen, as well as Toka from Ninja Turtles 2, Secret of the Ooze, apparently. Predator shows up on Planet Doom, as well as the Iron Giant, Eagle 5 from Spaceballs, the Austin Powers rocket, the Holy Hand Grenade from Monty Python, Chappie's there, Alan Ripley in a Xenomorph, some Gremlins, Jack Sparrow, ugh, the worst, Neo, Stay Puft Marshmallow Man, Gypsy Danger, Baymax, Steppenwolf, Enchantress, the Wicked Witch, Mechagodzilla, Rodan, Batra, Titanosaurus, Gamera, Mothra, Indiana Jones, Falcor, Adam from Real Steel, Hellboy, the Cyclops from the Seventh Voyage of Sinbad, some Transformers including Optimus Prime, Bumblebee and Nitro Zeus, Megatron and Sentinel Prime are also in that race, both the T-1000 and T-800 are in the final battle, and we get a Terminator 2 style thumbs up as the Iron Giant falls into the lava. Jack Frost from Rise of the Guardians is in the final battle, as is Hiccup and Toothless. Sloth from the Goonies, Chucky, Freddy, and Jason Voorhees. Speaking of horror, much of The Shining is recreated in an extended sequence. We get Buddy the Elf, a chest burster from Alien, the Back to the Future DeLorean, the Back to the Future music. <laughs> and it's a Zemeckis cube that reverses time and is named after Robert Zemeckis, the director of the Back to the Future trilogy. Beetlejuice is there, as well as Mad Max's car. Conan, not that one, the other one. No, that's Coneheads. Yes, we see the Deadites from Evil Dead, and Wade is given an extra life, just like Scott Pilgrim does in Scott Pilgrim, which I think is a better movie in general, but especially in terms of the creative use of video game tropes. But why do I know? Besides, I don't have time for this! But we do have time for a sponsor. Hello, it's sponsor time. This is, this is it. Mr. Koya are a pretty bloody stylish clothing company that specializes in fun and distinctly charming shirt designs you will not find anywhere else. There's a variety of sizes and styles, some of which are more subdued, some are more out there, all of which have great quality and are ethically crafted. There's no child labor. No one's falling into some weird bone crushing shirt making machine. It's all above board and you can check that out on their website. And because the quality is good, you're not going to wear them out. Meaning that's better for the environment probably because of sustainable fashion. Mr. Koya is also an Australian brand that focuses on a limited number of designs at a time. None of these designs are permanent. They come and go like the tides. And if you want to check them out, you can actually receive 25% off your order when you enter the promo code Mr. Sunday all one word at checkout when you buy two or more shirts. They ship anywhere in the world, 
And that's mrkoya.com, promo code Mr. Sunday for 25% off. That's a steal! I mean, you're still paying money for them, but a quarter of it is like you're stealing the shirt. Disney actually handed over the rights to Star Wars for this film, and although the characters aren't front and center, apparently though, all these things and people can still be seen. Kylo Ren, General Grievous, Boba Fett, Jango Fett, Darth Vader, a TIE fighter, R2-D2, C-3PO, a group of stormtroopers, as well as Han Solo and Darth Maul. The Millennium Falcon is also mentioned by name. In the race, there's also the Griswold family car. No, not that one. Yes, that one. A Tron light cycle and Mater. We get Mike Wazowski, Wally, and Mr. Incredible. All of them. They're in the club. A Navi is seen. Hey, just quietly, do you think the next Avatar movies are gonna do well? I mean, surely not, but... You know, it's James Cameron, so you should definitely not just rule him out. Yes, yes, I know. I don't have time for this. I'm just trying to break up this video a little bit for fuck's sake. That T-Rex might not be the one from Jurassic Park because Spielberg was reluctant to reference his own films. But some people did manage to sneak some Spielberg references in. There's also a Jurassic Park sticker on the side of an arcade cabinet. And apparently, some MCU characters show up, like Rocket Raccoon, Groot, Winter Soldier, Ghost Rider, and Hela, but I didn't see any of them, and I also didn't see the Zootopia characters that were allegedly present. That red bike from Akira shows up. I feel like I should have mentioned that earlier. It's, it's a pretty prominent kind of thing in, in the movie. Anyway, there's also King Kong, Roger, and Jessica Rabbit can be seen, plus Wreck-It Ralph. And you know, the whole movie is like a Willy Wonka thing. You get it, it's, it's, it's like a parallel. Wade wears a buckaroo Banzai suit on his date. 80s John Hughes films like Breakfast Club are also referenced. And there's a bit that's like that bit from Say Anything. The car from Christine is also about, plus the name Jack Slater, which is the name of Arnold's character from The Last Action Hero, which was the first writing credit for Zach Penn, who co-wrote the film, that name is seen. Also, and if someone could confirm this, that'd be great, someone spotted Bill Wilson from The Dark Knight Rises? That cannot possibly be true. Who goes into the Oasis to manifest as minor Dark Knight Rises character, CIA officer and regular man, Bill Wilson. Aim higher. Music plays a big part of the film. We get Staying Alive, Wake Me Up Before You Go-Go, Outfits synonymous with Prince and Michael Jackson, plus Duran Duran. The Pink Floyd marching hammers are seen, and we get Van Halen's Jump, plus other stuff probably also. The last section is just on other stuff. You know, pop culture crap. Well, you know, some of it's crap. It's all a matter of perspective. Some of this I quite like. Anyway, there's this pin from Simon, that 80s game I never played. There's a Mad Ball, a Hello Kitty sticker on the Akira bike, and a Sega sticker. I probably should have put that under the video games. Oh well! We get Laser Tag, Garbage Pail Kid cards, an Apple Macintosh, and a Game Boy. One Charles Barkley. The book Schindler's Ark is in Wade's room, which is what Schindler's List is based off. There's Eldar from Warhammer 4000, and that car race has like, a Hot Wheels ramp in it. Like, like Hot Wheels. So that's it! That's some of the references. Certainly not all of them, and some of these probably aren't even in the film. But just know there's also a bunch that are unconfirmed that we'll still be hearing about. If you do have anything extra to add, feel free to put it in the comments, and also maybe where you saw it in the film, so people maybe can come back to this video if they want and check through the comments to see if there's any more stuff. Also, there's videos here every Sunday, Tuesday and Thursday, so you can subscribe for that and do the bell notification thing if that's a thing you're interested in, because I'm not sure what YouTube is doing at the moment. Anyway, it's not important. There's no time. But also, everything is compiled at planetbroadcasting.com, along with my podcast, The Weekly Planet. That comes out every Monday, and this Monday, we're doing a spoiler-heavy review for Ready Player One. We have so much to say. Some good. Some not as good. But please come along for the ride if you like. But thanks for watching this video. I mean, I complain and I moaned all the way through this, but in all honesty, I really enjoy doing this and I appreciate the support and people watching means a great deal to me. And it also means that my job is at home so I can stay with my family. It's really fantastic. So I really appreciate it. Thanks very much. Take care. Birds just flew past, you hear that? Ah, Australia, synonymous for its birds.